The relationship between the tube and the eardrum is affected by the natural migration of the epithelium from the germination area near the umbo to the periphery. The epithelium accumulates on the tube, pushing it and tilting it posteriorly. The inner flange presses on the rim of the perforation, causing avascular necrosis, which widens the perforation when the tube is extruded. This mechanism also occurs in the T-tubes, with pressure concentrating on the rim area, creating a wide perforation due to necrosis. Presenting the newly designed tympanostomy tube from Otomedics. This soft silicone tube is designed to contact the eardrum at some distance from the rim of the perforation, so as not to interfere with the blood supply of the rim. The lumen of the shaft is conical, allowing easy cleaning of clogs. Its flexibility enables repositioning after cleaning. It has a thick anterior arm that resists natural extrusion and a collapse mechanism that is activated by pulling the extraction handle and rotating the tube on its axis during extrusion. It is easy to insert using the quick inserter. The tube is easily inserted by pushing the inserter's lever while the long arm automatically points anteriorly. The short arm is then pushed inside the tympanic cavity in the same movement, keeping the extraction arm in a posterior position. When the tube has to be removed, the extraction handle is pulled gently, activating the collapse mechanism, and the tube comes out easily.